Good morning, Como. Good morning, Como. Today is October 24th, and this is the morning show. The Como Park Asian American Club will be meeting after school on Tuesday, October 28th. All students who are interested are encouraged to come and join. The Como Park girls tennis team will be having their end of the season banquet on Friday, October 24th after school in the cafeteria. Remember to bring something to share with the team. The African American Young Men's Enrichment Group will be having the first meeting on Tuesday, October 28th. You must turn in your signed parent permission form in order to be included in this voluntary group. Hall passes will be distributed to all students who have completed the permission form. If you do not have permission form, please see Mr. Ricks for one. And now for world news. Thanks, you guys. And here is Alyssa and Brittany with your world news. Today in theaters, High School Musical 3, Saw 5, Pride and Glory, and Tim Burton's A Nightmare Before Christmas in Digital 3D are coming out, along with Changeling. Last week in theaters, W, Sex Drive, Secret Life of Bees, and Max Payne came out. And now the local news. St. Paul goes digital. The city of St. Paul and a live promo, a digital signage company has announced that the first phase of an interactive digital navigation system throughout the St. Paul City Center. The system is the first of its kind in the world. It will be developed by a live promo and integrated throughout the city into building Kiosk. The, naviga the navigation system will allow pedestrians to press a button on the Kiosk screen and search through a map to find their location. You will have the ability to search for landmarks, retailers, attractions by category, and locate other buildings. It will also show you the best route based on traffic and what the best of best time of day would be to use that route. Along with politics, in Minnesota, the registered number of voters is 3,145,000, roughly 84% of the eligible voters. This surpasses the previous record of 3,133,000 that was set in 2004 after the presidential elections. Within one week after we first read this article, the number of registered photos already jumped up 2%. It is now 86%. Nearly half of the new voting voter registration that was added in 2008 entered in September. Currently in Minnesota, Barack Obama is in the lead with 51% and John McCain is at 40%. And now with uh, Illinois news. Public school officials in Chicago, Illinois, are recommending the approval of a gay-friendly high school because harassment and violence are causing gay students to skip class and drop out at an alarming rate. According to a 2003 survey, gay and lesbians are three times more to drop out because of unsafe environments. National study found that 86.2% were verbally harassed. 44.1% physically harassed and 22.1% physically assaulted in the past year for their sexual orientation. California, Iowa, Maine, Maryland, Minnesota, New Jersey, Vermont, Washington, and Wisconsin are the only states with specific sexual orientation protections for students. The Chicago Board will vote November 19th to approve the School for Justice Pride campus in addition to 17 other proposed schools. And remember, if you see anyone being harassed, please help them or hurry and find the nearest adult or third authority figure. Around the world, in Vera, Villa Rica, Colombia, two men were shot to death Tuesday in a clash with riot police amid a proposing Indian protest in southwestern Colombia. The men were shot in the head and back as they sought to join thousands of Indians marching in Colombia's second largest city, Cali. Demonstrators want the government to set aside more land for Colombia's 1.3 million Indians and to provide more money for better education and health care. 
Though Colombia President Alvera Uribe has denied that police and army forces have been using lethal force against demonstrators, medics said they have treated scores of Indians injured by bullets and shrapnel. So far, pro four protesters have been killed since demonstrations began August 10th. At least 130 more have been injured. The government says as many as 70 security force members, mainly riot police, have also been hurt. This is Alyssa and Brittany with your World News. Up and the dates will be November 4th, 5th, and 6th. Sign up October 29th through the 31st of all three lunches. The cost is $2. The proceeds are going to go to the Man and Men Scholarship. Good morning, Como, and welcome to today's section of Brian in the Field. Today we will be at Jacobson's Pine Tree Apple Orchard. This apple orchard spreads over 300 acres and was established in 1904. Here we can see the apples being hand processed. First they go through a rigorous apple friendly wash cycle and then they move into rows, where they are then sorted by size, determined by weight. The biggest apples fall first, and these apples are for eating. The smaller ones continue on the conveyor belt to the end, where they are dropped off and used for different things such as cooking, baking, and basically anything apple related here at this apple orchard. Here we see apples ready to be taken home and eaten. There are many other things at this apple orchard such as apple caramel, apple donuts, apple turnovers, old people, and basically anything apple that you can imagine. They even have apple baskets made out of real apples. Now this true American tradition is not too far away. It's only in White Bear Lake, Minnesota. That's barely, what, 10 minutes to drive? With the fall colors starting to show, there's no reason for you Como not to get out there and see this beautiful apple orchard. This was Brian in the Field reporting from Jacobson Family Apple Orchard. Thanks and have a great day.
funny, honey, act like you know. Mama, I like how you dance, the way you're fitting in pants. Into the flow, take it low, girl. 